Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at her mukbang and live stream from the 17th of June. The mukbang is the usual ugh, disgusting feast. This time it's a chilies takeout. And then in the live stream, it's where she tells us she's going to eat whatever she wants. How Salah is so supportive. <laughs> uh, she talks again about the reactors as usual and has a mm, bit of a rant about rehoming Sam and BBJ. And how she has trauma from that. Hmm. How about the poor cats, eh, Chantal? Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So this is her mukbang of the 17th of June, titled First Time Trying Chili's Ultimate Cajun Alfredo Pasta and Queso and Chips. What a mouthful, eh? And she has to start it with a picture of Julia and all the various names they call her. I noticed one there in blue. BB gal, isn't that what she used to call BBJ? It's so this that's just disgusting after what happened with BBJ. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am trying chilies for the first time here in Kuwait. So let's get into it, Miss Miller. They gave me two bags of tortilla chips, two huge bags. And what does that tell you? that they thought that this was not just for one person. Mm -hmm. I've got her on 1.5 speed again as usual, by the way. And I mean, just look at that huge amount of food. Ugh, sickening. Now sound off, but I've got her muted, I mean. Watch the way she tackles this pasta. Huge amount stuck in and look, oh. Food all over her mouth again as usual. Ugh. And now she piles up another forkful. Look at the amount on there. Ugh. And then she hasn't even finished. She hasn't even swallowed that. And look, she's digging into that bread. And touching her hijab again as usual without wiping her fingers. Good the food. Ugh. Can you imagine how dirty those heat jabs are? She says she injured herself again, threw her back out, and that's why she's ordering in tonight. Who believe her? I don't. And I can't play her telling you that because she's constantly eating and eating noises while she says it. Oh. I heard like a pop and I'm like, oh no. That happened to me before. She then says it took her a couple of days to get better when it happened before, and not like a month like sciatica. I'm sure she complained about having sciatica for a much longer than a month. Anyway. She says they had plans today, but it's going to have to wait now. She says, you can't understand how hungry I am. Well, yeah, we can, but it's not physical hunger. I think it's more mental. And she says she was lying in bed last night and her stomach was growling. And that she's trying not to eat past a certain time. How's that working out for you? Hmm? She says she made herself wait until she got up to eat. And she says, and here we are. So she's telling us that this is her first meal of the day. Ugh. Salsa gives me heartburn, always, but... Then why eat it? I don't eat it often. Right, so she's actually leaving some of the pasta here. I'm sure when the camera stops rolling, she'll finish that off. PDQ. Goodbye, see you later. Yeah, goodbye, see you later. And that's it for this part. So this is her live later that day where she's eating a sandwich throughout. Ow! There was something crunchy, I think in the cheese. Oh, um, I mean, wouldn't you check the sandwich to see what else is in there and maybe throw it away? Uh, I think if I found something crunchy, well, first off, I'd have spat it out and I don't think I'd have been able to eat the rest of it. But she does eat the rest of it. No surprise there. 
Yeah, it's in the cheese. There's something crunchy. Do they make this cheese in the sand? They hacked your. Oh. I'm sure she probably would eat a sand sandwich if she was. Well, if there was nothing else around. She holds up a jar of food, I don't know, pickled something, and asks Salah to translate it for her, or else anybody else in her chat who can read Arabic. Where is he? Hi, Dandre and Sophia. Oh, where is he? He hasn't responded quickly enough. Where is he? Is he there? Is he out with his friends? Is he out in the red room? You can read it? I didn't see him. Look at the concern. And now Julia knocks over her food. My sandwich! Oh no! Go Dredd. My sandwich! Okay, Sophia. I'll give you guys... It's a, Salah usually reads it, but we'll give you guys you Arabic guys. Don't even... Oh, Salah comes in chat then and says, No, I'm sleeping in. Huh? My sandwich. Hey! Psst. <laughs> when you look at me like this... Oh, she didn't want Julia going anywhere near her food then, did she? Don't eat my sandwich! God forbid Kat should get some different food. Or rather, steal any of Chantal's. Again, she's been there that long. Can't read any Arabic. And now, Julia is brought in as a prop again. <laughs> You're back, yeah, right. I'm sure you like it. Oh, poor Kat. She needs a brushing. Thank you. You don't pay rent. You don't buy the groceries. You don't pay for gas to go and get you your little cans of tuna and shrimp. So, you gotta take the kisses. It's collateral! You're cute. Is she on something again on this one? She's very animated, isn't she? She says they bought five cases of these iced teas that she keeps drinking. And that she tries to have just two a day. One with a mukbang and one with... What she calls a snack, like what she's having now, she says. <sighs> she then recounts her sleep apnea and CPAP story again. And there's lots of talk about potential holiday destinations. The usual things she's spoken about before. She then turns the camera on to Julia. Um, now notice she's got the stacked... Uh, cans of that iced tea there. Firstly, why isn't it in the fridge or at least in the kitchen? Mm. And then this bit is weird. Just stop ignoring me. Oh god, yeah, don't ignore Chantal. Whatever you do. What do you do? I'll grab a fork. There you go. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I would like you rare. Medium rare. <laughs> the hell? Can't ask to see Howie. <laughs> Howie, another time. He's probably sleeping in his uh, house of socks. Yeah, you'd have to go get him, wouldn't you? Notice she's wearing glittery eyeshadow as well for some strange reason, for somebody who's not left the house all day. Hmm. I give him, like, socks that I only find one of, I just give them to, for him to add to his bedding. <laughs> he loves them! I buy him proper bedding from the store too, but he loves the socks, so... I hope she washes them first. Maybe we could bring them out another time. I don't want to be too late on here because I'm sleepy. It's midnight. Where does the time go? <laughs> she says that and it's 51 minutes in and her live lasts for 2 hours, 7 minutes, 47 seconds. I think my back will be 11. Yes. I think it Oh, the performatory groans there. We'll be a lot better by tomorrow, maybe. Hmm. I threw my back out. I won't tell you how, but I did. And. Hmm. What's she trying to imply there? Hmm? We know it wasn't from the rumpy bumpy, was it? Dala brings out Howie. She then kisses him. A piece of carrot or a cheese slice. You want to hi, big boy? They don't have syphilis, do they? What? 
Let me see how he nibbling a piece of cheese. I mean, it does look cute, but that poor hamster, I don't think he has much of a life. She gets Howie back to Salah, and then Salah does his usual light play. Enjoy your cheese, Meg. What happened? It's a ghost. He thinks it's so Bye funny. Now. Look at his big butt. His baby jaw. Baby's gonna fall. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <sighs> I think the lights like that is very good for you. No, I don't like it. What? He likes her in the dark. <laughs> you like it better like this? Yeah. Blair Witch. She doesn't like it. He says he likes it better. So does she stick with it? Then there's lots of talk about different movies again. Now, Bloop in her chat says, You say happy people don't sit online to be mean, but happy people also don't sit and eat 3,000 plus calories for a meal. Goes both ways. Here's how she responds. Well, Bloop, actually, that's not true. Like, so many people overeat or eat things that they shouldn't be or whatever. You're saying you only have to be eating salad to be happy? Give me a break. You know? I don't think that's what they were saying at all. And at least I don't sit there and attack other people. Ooh, like, you know, people who are not happy take it out on other people. And I don't do that. I don't do I defend myself once in a while, but the amount of co the content I have is all my life. So She's starting to get a little bit ranty here. The same old, same old. So the fact that I don't feel so bad about my life that I have to sit and take it out on other people, you know, I'm just saying. She's just saying, not take it out on other people. It's called reactions, Chantal. Don't put your life online if you can't take the reactions. And don't tell me that those reactors don't eat 3,000 plus calories. Because again, Reddit might I remind you, they don't even have the nerve to cam up because they're so ashamed of how, how big they are. So please. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. As I said before, I want my content to be about the content, not about what I look like. And I don't eat 3,000 plus calories, just for the record. Right. Yeah. For collecting and uh, gathering the money, wrote a joint hit for someone mm. online. Mm. Yeah. And that was Salah saying that they're low lies collecting money for the hate online. Well, I'm not. I'm not even fully monetized yet. Don't have a thousand subs and any uh, monetization I do get is going to animal charities. And there will be proof of that. I'll show that online. I haven't met the payment threshold yet for YouTube. So I can't even withdraw any money yet for super chats and super stickers. And I don't have AdSense revenue. So... Wrong again, Salah. <laughs> Certainly for me, anyway. I can't speak for other reactors. And who is Salah, anyway, to be talking about money? He's the one who asked Kabbalah what his salary was, remember? Amongst other things. Hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. Like, the book bangs I do, I do it like it's content for me right now. You know, like, basically. And I guess, like, I'm doing it more, like... Just kind of, I don't know, experimenting also like eating what I want and seeing. That's when have you never eaten what you want? You're doing it because you can push them out uh, a lot at a time, you know, to get more content out there to raise money. You're eating a meal on camera, right? You don't have to worry about making any meaningful content. How I'm able to manage the rest of my day with keeping like it in check. Like, you know, it would be different if I was eating the mukbang and then like, you know, eating crap all night. Like that would be, you know, different, but I don't know. Well, you probably are eating crap all night. It's just, yeah. But you do eat less now than your old videos. Yeah, I don't even finish my food sometimes. Like, I ate the pizza. I was really hungry that day, and I didn't find it that filling. But my sp I showed in one of my recent videos how she did say at the end of it she was full. So, which is it? Getty mukbang, for instance, I ate half. And people are like, you ate a whole plate of it. No, I ate half if you watch the whole video. So it just depends, you know? Like, Even if you ate half, it was a huge serving. Even half is too much for somebody... With your health issues it's too much for a, a regular person i would argue like, i don't know <laughs> you don't know he like doesn't care in the face he defends you and when they attack you it's like they attack a lot because you are one he's a good husband and supports you yeah they don't see behind the scenes maybe he doesn't approve of what i eat but i'm a 40 year old woman and i'm gonna eat whatever the heck i want to eat you know 40 year old woman you should probably demonstrate that a bit more then and he's so supportive of you, isn't he? He's the one that goes out and brings you back food when you don't get it delivered. He went out on Eid and brought you back that huge selection of sweets. 
That's not what I call being supportive. I, I don't... I don't find that, like, super restricting also doesn't work for me at all. Like, I don't know, it's... I don't know, it's hard to explain to people who don't, like, don't have binge eating disorder, you know? I guess so. But you don't have to super restrict. You know, you can have a happy medium. You don't have to super restrict and you don't need to pig out the way that you are doing. You're the one that told us you were 40 years old. Where's the common sense here, huh? It's not realistic. Even her chat tells her it's not realistic. But the pizza was thin. It was, like, thinner. I don't know. I'm not saying it's, like, super healthy to eat a whole pizza, but, I mean, I don't know. That's why I just wanted to stop talking about it, because I don't want to, like, give people all this, like, hope of, like, following a health journey that, like, I can't commit to in the way that people expect me to. Like, they expect me to go, like, all gung-ho and, like, you know. I just prefer to just, like, keep that completely offline. Yes, look at me said, uh, salad play on chantal and peas, salad peas. And the hapaka peas. No, uh, just a happy medium, I think people would be happy with, to see you not abusing your body the way you are. Only a couple of weeks ago you had a diabetic crisis. Your health cannot take it anymore, simple as that. And then Salah just has to chime in again. They're going to say, oh, he's supporting and uh, pushing you through it. We only tell him. <laughs> yeah, they would say that, yeah. He's being controlling. Whatever you will do, they will uh, find any stupid theory from their brainless and they'll talk about, they'll, yeah. they'll kill. Uh, you know, the, the live streams, the stupid, shitty uh, uh, nonsense mm. uh, by uh, pausing on that uh, space, space bar. bar every five <laughs> seconds. Oh, like this, you mean? Uh -huh. Not every five seconds, but near enough. Yeah. That's called being a reaction channel, Salah. Not that you would know much about it. And what about your carry on with Kybella, eh? It's not going to go away, you know. Oh my god, that's so fucking boring. I know. I'm telling yeah. you that. <laughs> I know. Well, we're so boring. Why do you watch the reaction channels? Because you seem to know everything that's going on. Yep. Talk my life and went the opposite way. It's hard to find balance. Yeah, it is. It's secrets. It is. I feel like you're you're doomed if you do. You're doomed if you don't. You know, it's like, I don't know. Imagine three hours with uh, like a reaction live just for uh, like 20 minutes. Someone eating online. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. Sarah, would you go away? You want to input? Go and do this, talk about it on the couple's channel with her or something. Jeez. Now, someone in a chat says, how oh, you got rid of the cats you had for 10 plus years for your husband, then you got cats with him. What happened? Was there an issue? This is either a troll or somebody that's quite new to Chantal. And she gets a bit irate. Andrea, I'm going to say this once, just one more time, because I've said this before. I didn't... Listen very carefully, I shall say this only once. I gave up my cats just for a man, okay? Yes, I gave them up to come move here and be married, and I decided that... What about your rage when you found out about Kybella? You know, the, I gave my cats away for you! Homing them was in their best interest because I thought it would be cruel to bring them all the way. Uh, no, you were going to be home, Sam, and you were looking to euthanize BBJ. Actually, you said you were going to see what the vet said, but you were hoping you had it in your mind. I've seen the streams where you were thinking it was cruel, um, you know, to keep her alive being at her age, but all she needed was proper vet treatment. She had the ingrowing claws, remember that uh, FFG got sorted out. This makes me so mad, this bit. The way here on the plane, and I was freaked out by even thinking about how to do that. And I thought that they would... You wouldn't be able to take them on the plane because they need to be vaccinated and have like a pet passport or similar anyway. And I agree, that journey would be very stressful. Um, I don't think my thoughts on it... <laughs> There are reasons, some valid reasons why you need, you know, to give up your pets and rehome. But personally, I couldn't do it just for that reason, for a relationship. Uh, everybody's different, I guess. But it was the way you did it. You were so, in your words, you've used the words gung-ho. You were gung-ho about it. You didn't seem that upset at all when the time came. You, It was like you were thrilled. You'd have no more, uh, you know concerns looking after the cats etc you couldn't wait to get back to your scat loving man eh? they would be better 
it would be better for them and less traumatic. So that was the decision I made at the time. And that's it. So yeah. And a lot of people have to do that, you know? Yeah, some people have to do it for very valid reasons. Uh, a common one that I've come across in rescue, you know, people get very ill and they've got nobody around them that can look after their pets so they make sure they can get the best home possible for them and it cuts them up inside doesn't it you know not her it didn't of course i wish they were with me i dream about them all the time you know so i don't know well dreams can be a sign of the subconscious so maybe that's the guilt coming through there hmm? maybe someday i can find a way i don't know i saw a video of a cat a long-haired cat that passed away they were put in like uh on the qatar airways plane and it overheated and i just like it freaks me out just thinking about like them they get freaked out going to the vet like if for a 20 minute ride you know how would you know someone in a chat says also one of her cats was literally stolen referring to bbj's rescue huh. one of her cats was literally stolen yeah yep uh no 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 you can keep trying to spin that all you want chantelle you know and we know that's not the case. It was like not an easy decision at all. It was very hard. Like, I... didn't seem so at the time. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a, tr a tricky situation, but it does make me sad. Yeah, it makes me sad a lot too. Like, I have legit trauma from that. Like, I. Oh, shut up about your trauma. What about the trauma that poor BBJ went through? You didn't treat her for a UTI. She had the claws growing in her pads. Just shut up, woman. You know, I, I don't know. I dream about them all the time. That I'm like finding them on the street. I'm like, yeah, or, you know what I mean? Like I try to gra grab them and bring them back and everything. It's really hard. So, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get Sam. I don't know. Hopefully not. No, 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 no. Leave Sam where he is if he's being well looked after. And like I said, you're dreaming about them. I think that's the guilt coming through of how you handled it so badly. You showed no remorse at the time. And with BBJ, well, I didn't think that she was going where she was going, and the person who has her now is using her as a tool to hurt, try to hurt me. And no, that's complete BS. And it is hard having had that cat for 21 years and not knowing what her end will be. You didn't have her for 21 years. You told us that yourself. Be like, you know, um, I expected that the person I was supposed to reform her to would, you know, they said they would keep in touch and let me know how she's doing and send pictures and things, and... That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I see it. Look in the comments yeah, you're so hurt. You're the one that said you were taking her to the vet for a consultation about euthanasia. And you're the one that made comments to her about, you know, was she gonna be in a box or a bag? Give it up. Makes me so angry. I hope she is being well taken care of. I hope so. You know, like I took very good care of them for many, many years and No, you didn't. We saw the catch it on the floor you didn't look after the litter trays and every oh who are you trying to fool you know maybe i was a bit neglectful at one point but maybe one point no 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 it was much more than that i was like neglecting myself bad you know but they were they still like ate and that makes no excuse my pets are like my babies they come before my needs that's how it should have been with you. Everything. And it wasn't like I knew about her nails and saw them and then didn't make an appointment, you know? So, I don't know. What? It's stuff that weighs on my mind a lot, actually. And Good. I hope you have nightmares about it. Definitely, I do miss them a lot, so. But I had people from everywhere in my family like, don't bring them on, don't bring them over there. Do you know how cruel that is? You know, like, and I had only a month to move out of that villa and deal. Uh, you knew... First time you went to Kuwait, apparently, you know, that you were going back and you knew for quite a while you could have been making inquiries and doing things while you were in Kuwait for the very first time. And when you did come back, you were pissing about, doing lots of live streams, saying that, oh, there's so much to do, but I just don't feel like it. So don't give us this crap now. And deal with everything. It was really, really hectic, so... But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's called being an adult. How do you think other people cope? I feel like I was wasting away and rotting in that villa too. You know, like just getting high and just still eating. You're still kind of rotting away where you are in Kuwait, to be honest. Eating, but... Box of lock on night. Yeah. 
Yeah. Should have listened to my mom. She's like, don't rehome, don't rehome BBJ to somebody that you don't know. But like people put up ads, right? But I have haters. So I didn't realize that somebody would do that. You know, if somebody would take her, like, you know, that wasn't her. That wasn't the person I was talking to. I never thought someone would do that. Rest so. in peace, BBJ. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's no proof for her life now. Yeah. I'm like more than five months. Ago. Yeah. Julia's nail, but BBJ's was always taken care of. Always went to the vet. She had a doctor uh, that, you know, Pete and I would take them to in Orleans. And this is just like, this is like, not a regular thing this is this wasn't how they were taken care of on a regular basis like I, you guys seen those cats in my videos like for years you saw how happy they were with me you know in the old place where i was with bb and like you know what i mean so what a load of crap and uh julia she goes to pet zone if i'm not up to go as well so will just take her quick to pet zone but you weren't going to talk about pet care anymore huh and yeah you've got salah who seems if this is true, it seems to care more about the bloody cat than you do. It's easy, isn't it? I wonder how many times you've gone with him, or is it just Salah doing it all the time? Hmm. It's only cut her nails, you know, every two and a half to three weeks. As soon as they get a bit long, we notice like she's starting to scratch. You can, like, you can just tell when her nails, you know. But really, but she reminds me a bit of BBJ. She does. Hmm. Is that why you chose her? Hmm. Yeah, so, anyways, Sam's been in the same place since. A very nice home. I get regular videos. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll reunite. No, no, no. No, no, no. Leave Sam where he is, please. Brenda in her chat is obsessed about Canada and Canada Day. She says, some channels are speculating you're going to Canada on July 1st. Is that true? Would be cool. Chantal says, no, Brenda, that's not true. We'll see. I actually don't think it is. I don't think she's planning to go to Canada this time for a visa run. She talks about a previous back problem and then... No, I, I'll admit it. Whenever you're like overweight, it's uncomfortable. I don't like walking, but I need to do it. So... Yep. <laughs> oh, Salah is suggesting swimming. Now listen carefully. He's trying to encourage her to do it despite what she's already said. How about swimming? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, stupid childish I face. Feel like getting, like, going in water. I just swim, I don't know, like, just step by step. We'll see. What? Oh, you're weight? Shh, you won't oh, do it. I'm gonna be weightless. Cool, Beezer. You should be saying that my husband always. He's trying to encourage her. Okay, fair play. She just doesn't want to do it. She said before that it's too much trouble, you know, with the wet clothes and everything. Oh. I'm gonna go kiss my cat. For tomorrow, I expect uh, maybe uh, swimming like. Maybe. He's trying again about swimming. How many percent? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. No. One, yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. One three. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> so there's no chance. Yeah. Small chance. Give her back. No chance, basically. Then the rest is her and Salah chatting. She says that he's going to give her another back massage. And that's about it for this. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.